Constitution Hall, a memorial to that immortal document, the Constitution of the United States, in which are incorporated those principles of freedom, equality, and justice for which our forefathers strove. With those words inscribed on its facade, the cornerstone was laid on 18th Street by First Lady Grace Coolidge using the trowel with which George Washington had placed the keystone of the U.S. Capitol in 1793. The year was 1928, and setting the stage for DAR Constitution Hall to be so much more than just another building in Washington, D.C. Little more than three decades after its founding, the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution had already outgrown its original auditorium, Memorial Continental Hall. Leadership realized that a larger venue would be needed to fit the big dreams of the growing organization. Preeminent architect John Russell Pope was hired in 1925 to complete the preliminary designs for the new neoclassical building, and the Continental Congress of 1926 passed a resolution christening the new auditorium Constitution Hall as a lasting memorial to that great governance document. Fundraising for the million dollar project must have appeared daunting, but members, chapters, and states willingly stepped forward, pledging to purchase inscribed seats, boxes, and even cubic feet of dirt, and yes, even sunshine too. With firm faith in their ability to raise the necessary funds, the daughters gathered to see ground broken in 1928, and within just one year, they witnessed the completion of their colossal building. These obviously were women, with a plan. For while the National Society needed the larger space to accommodate delegates at its annual Continental Congress, members also recognized the business opportunity of renting the auditorium for special events and concerts most of the year. And sure enough, the hall became the unofficial cultural center of the District of Columbia and in fact, a national stage for all forms of the performing and literary arts. In those early years, Constitution Hall stage welcomed the world's most celebrated artists and historic events. The roster included impresarios, orchestras, choral groups, bands, and distinguished lecturers. The National Symphony Orchestra was founded at Constitution Hall in 1930 and called it home for more than four decades. The National Geographic Film Series was presented at the Hall for more than 40 years. Additionally, the world premiere of the renowned 1939 film, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, was held at Constitution Hall. The audience included 45 real-life senators, 250 House members, and several Supreme Court justices. While it is often remembered for the fact that Marian Anderson did not perform here that same year, 1939, it is important to remember that she did sing here in 1943 and four additional times, including as the first stop on her farewell tour in 1964. Indeed, much important history has been made on this iconic stage. Constitution Hall earned its designation as a National Historic Landmark in 1985 for its significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America and serving as host to a variety of significant events. Most U.S. presidents since Calvin Coolidge have visited the hall, as well as other nationally notable figures. In addition to music concerts and comedy shows, other special events in Constitution Hall have included television specials and game shows, such as multiple tapings of both Jeopardy! and Wheel of Fortune. The Horatio Alger Awards Ceremony 
and the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for Popular Song have both held gala ceremonies in Constitution Hall for many years. Other unique special events have ranged from the largest naturalization ceremony ever conducted within the nation's capital to an international teen robotics competition. A landmark in the local community, it often serves as a memorable venue for high school and college graduations, as well as award ceremonies for multiple federal agencies. If someone lives in the metropolitan D.C. area, chances are he or she has attended an event in historic D.A.R. Constitution Hall. A new chapter was written in the history of this landmark with its complete closure for more than a year due to the pandemic. For the first time in its history, the hall went dark for an extended period. While a setback, the public closure allowed for a massive restoration of the hall to proceed, including an innovative overhead laylight project that will marry historic preservation with the latest in technology in order to replicate the original overhead laylight designed by Mr. Pope, but removed more than seven decades before. Indeed, daughters are still women with a plan. And now it is time for the curtain to rise on the next act at DAR Constitution Hall. <laughs>